You want reality? You can't handle the reality. Hi everybody, this is Todd V. I'm Jay Edwards. This is another episode of Artist Reality. On tonight's show, we're going to be talking to George Rausch, a very talented and diverse painter. You're not going to want to miss it. Right after this. So, summertime's here. Nothing says fun in the sun, like sipping on some lemonade, dipping your toes in the pool, lemonade. and watching Artist Reality on your iPod. Whoa! Zoinks! On your iPod? Heck yeah. How is that possible? Just go to... Todd V. Subscribe. Oh, that's right. You can go to iTunes, look for Todd Space V, Todd V, search for Todd V on iTunes, and you can find the Artist Reality Podcast. And good news. What's Congratulations. that? Congratulations. You just won a free subscription. Awesome. Just for watching today. Congratulations. I'm digging that. Nice. And we're back. As Jay mentioned, we're going to go check out the studio of one of our favorite artists, George Rausch. That's right. Yeah, his work is... I mean, I know he blushes when we say it, but when you take a look at his stuff, it's like museum quality work coming right out of here of Akron. It's something we should, we can all be proud of, you know, to have that in our neighborhood. Well, the guy's always full of surprises. Yeah. Week after week, he's got something new. Yeah. And it's always great. It's always nice. Yeah, that's what I like about him. I mean, he, he kind of has the approach like, like we do, and this is not to toot our own horn, but we look at art as a professional career, and he goes at it and he works at it very hard. Dude will go in, as he says in the bit coming up, stretch 10, 12, 20 canvases, have them ready so that he can get to work. He's definitely a professional. Yeah, he, he treats it like it's a day job. He gets up, gets to work painting, ends his day. I mean, it's not like it's something he does as a hobby or, you know. It's a profession. It's a profession. So let's roll tape. Yeah, check this out. We're talking to George Roush. George, thanks for being on the show. I know you're a busy man. Uh, one of the first things I ever noticed about you was the diversity of your paintings. You got everything from abstract to minimalism uh, to Neo Geo. Uh, what is it that, you know, what's the deciding motive of what you're going to paint that day? Well, I, I pretty much let the, uh, the painting uh, dictate what's, what's going to happen. The surface pretty much tells me what's going to happen. I, I like to paint in series, series of uh, paintings. Um, much, much like there, there are very many painters, uh, past and present, that change up a lot. And I think that the idea of a signature style is uh, pretty outdated, outmoded. Well, you definitely don't seem to subscribe to any signature style, and, but you can always tell one of your paintings. I'm not sure. And that, that's all, that always amazes me. Uh, Dennis Conley. Uh, gallery owner once told me don't worry about it he, he said uh, I could tell your paintings uh, in a room full of paintings so uh, and I was flattered by that that uh, meant a lot when somebody says that yeah I mean it's it, and it's true because whatever if it's a Neo Geo piece or something that's just real lyrical you have a certain I think it's it must be the quality of the painting I'm not exactly sure what does it but you can tell that it is a George Rush painting well, I, I, I think I, I've developed and I have um, a palette, and that palette runs true whether it, I'm using a lot of paint, a lot of surface, or if I'm uh, working on raw canvas. What, whatever the story of the, the painting is, in other words, whatever, whatever the mood of the painting is, uh, I, I tend to try to develop the same palettes and the same uh, uh, color range. What is what gets you going? What's the what's the starting point in a painting? Well, the, the if I'm working in a series, then it becomes very obvious. It's it's evident. Uh, there's no guesswork to it, and meaning that the previous painting or paintings have dictated pretty much what's going to happen in the next uh, painting of the series. If it's uh, a new series that I'm starting, then I start out with with a basic idea, uh, all the way from uh, preparation, all the way to ex through execution and uh, ending up with finishing the, the process. I'm a great believer in process, and the process usually begins with stretching the canvas. And I, I use canvas uh, various uh, variable thicknesses. I use 
anywhere from seven, seven ounce canvas, which was very thin and very reminiscent uh, almost of uh, linen, up, and t up to the point where uh, I use uh, oh, a 10 or 11 ounce canvas, which is uh, approaching army canvas or, or army surplus canvas. It's very thick. Um, I stretch a canvas, but I, what I usually do is I take out time just in this process. And the process only, is not only it's cerebral, uh, but it also is um, physical. It's a physical process of stretching the canvas. I might stretch anywhere up to a, a dozen canvases uh, at a time. And I let those canvases sit for two or three or four days because canvas is a living uh, material. And being as organic as you can be and being a living material, the canvas actually has to acclimate itself to being stretched. I've been working lately for the past, uh, oh, half a year, several months, and not using any primer, not using any gesso. I've almost quit completely using gesso completely, and I, I've gone to a real high-grade uh, titanium oxide uh, interior uh, house paint. As the gesso? As the primer? Right, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so stretching the canvas is part of this process. And while I'm stretching the canvas, I tend to... Uh, formulate my head where, where this, if it's the first painting of, of a series, where that painting is going. What colors, I let the colors pretty much dictate the painting. I'm uh, at heart a colorist and uh, color intrigues me much, much more than a figurative uh, format. So th those are the things I work up to, building the stretchers and uh, stretching the canvas. Um, when I when I get ready to paint, it, it happens. I, in the past, I've been uh, rather quick. I've been pretty fast in, in the execution of a painting, but I'm I'm learning to have more patience. I'm thinking of the process through. The process I always talk about the process. The process is the the most important thing when you're a painter. The process is the most important thing, and that process can begin when you're just sitting in a chair, or it, it can begin when you've put that uh, last coat of uh, uh, varnish on, on the surface of the painting. And you've signed your name. That is, and the process you tend to carry the process away from the painting as well. So. Uh, everything and everything as a process if I deviate from that process then uh, I end up with a mess so all right well thanks for giving us a minute to talk to you thank you Jay and uh, that's it and that was an awesome visit Jay that was good interview too thank you very much George knows what he's where of he speaks yes he's yeah. very intelligent yeah he definitely knows what he's talking about yeah and knows where he wants to be I mean, yes Dude does some awesome work, as you just saw. So for this evening, I say aloha. Keep it real, stay creative. We'll see you next time.